Women waiting on compliments like condiments sitting on tables. Artificial sweeteners keep her eyes wide like saucers. I prefer salt or let me know my faults rather than exalt me. I find it exhausting trying to balance on pedestals while being pigeon-toed. <laughs> These compliments, they've got me in a pigeonhole. I'd rather show you my scars and this reconstructed heart held together by fishing line. You'll find hairline fractures in the fine china. My vagina isn't a vestibule. My kiss isn't celestial. I don't lactate mango juice from my left breast, but you'll love the way that I lay on your chest and write rhymes to the rhythm of your heartbeat. Love the way I anoint your feet with oil like Mary Magdalene. And love the way I bring you aspirin and ice water when we're hung over together. And love the way I long to embody the daughters of Esther and just be a better woman than I was yesterday. But as for artificial sweeteners, I prefer my coffee black these days. Like aspartame, too much of anything just can't be good for your health. And overindulgence and flattery start to melt gluttony and vanity together like pink cotton candy spun sugar in rainy weather. You see, flattery is vanity in disguise, like a beautiful weapon. But here's my confession. I am emotionally bulimic. I will binge and purge and binge and purge and binge and purge on the weakness, trying to consume all the sweetness. But my inner warrior, she's anorexic. She won't let me digest it. It's best if as for sweetness, we just keep it real. Mm. This is how I look without makeup and with no bra, my nanny sag down low. But my honesty is met by, yo, yo, hey, shorty, hey, psst, 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 let me holler at you, girl. Ooh, you so fine. Gee, thanks.